Hello there everybody, Tim from Tim's Cards and Comics here once again with another quest for the best gems of the game video. This is part four of our series. So far in the first three parts we really haven't gotten anything much out of them. We've got a couple of these purple uh, graded cards and that is about it. But we hope for something better that's in the pack or the graded card or whatever. I don't expect one of these cards on the box here. Don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm not, you know, assuming that those cards are going to be in here. But uh, I do want a, something good to come out of a pack. A good autograph, a good rookie, a good uh, relic card or something there. Some good gem like that. But we're going to see what happens, so let's get right to it. Here we go. Let's see if we get the same bunch of packs that we've been getting out of these. We probably will. Uh, where's Charlie? There's Charlie the security guy. Hang on a minute here. Okay, we're going to get Charlie the security guy to come out here and guard our our uh, hit, our graded card. There he is, Charlie the security guy. He's out. Let me go in here and get the packs out of here. Okay, there's the packs. All right, all right. Looks like we got another purple card. We don't know who it is yet. Get on top of that guy. All right, Charlie, you're not big enough to cover this guy up too good. So let's hope that nobody can. You may need some backup. Hang on here a minute. Just a rare blank back, blank front will help you. Thank you. All right, there they are. They're over there. All right, of course, we're getting the same cards. We got the three mediocre 2019 Series 1 card packs from uh, the dollar store or whatever. There's our hobby pack, 2013 Pinnacle. Actually, I kind of like those because there's some nice cards that comes out of those, actually. And 2018 Series 1 tops, of course. And... Ooh. Got the Babe Ruth card instead of the X Pack this time. Uh, that's not too good. Right. And of course, our dreaded triple plays. Feeling to see if there's a real feel. Maybe I don't know. I'd like to, if we, as long as we're getting those, I would, it'd be, it would be nice to get a real. <clears throat> it would be nice to get a real feel or a. Hall of Famer. We've got some nice Hall of Fame cards in those. In these. In there. Just like I can completely. I don't have a room. I don't know if I'm up to closer. Well, all right, here we go. Well, there's a maple leaf. Is this hockey or what? No, it's Jose Batista. From Toronto, oh, of course, Toronto Maple Leaf. So it's the Toronto Blue Jays, but no. All right, Jared Weaver. Oh God, these cards are so horrible. David Price. The only thing that looks right in this one is that baseball. <laughs> David Price. Oh my gosh, do I need to even? Well, at least this one has a photo on it, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, uh, that, yeah. Holiday and Batista. All right, well, the usual garbage from those, I guess. I don't like the way this stuff's set up here for some reason. All right, here we go. Second trouble. Play. All right, Zimmerman, Kemp. Darvish, oops, uh oh, tattoo. That guy, that guy, that guy. 
All right. So as usual, the triple plays are trash. Couple of these things, all your packs really are, for the most part, at least half the packs, more than half the packs half the time are pretty much worthless. Even the Babe Ruth ones, I mean, as great as ball players Babe Ruth is, his set just kind of sucks. Is he playing the flute or is he kissing his bat? All right, whatever. Oh, he's a basketball player. God, he needs to put his clothes on. Give him a quotables. I have just one superstition whenever I hit a home run. I make certain I touch all four bases. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> Only Babe Ruth could say something stupid like that. All right, there it is. Babe Ruth cards. <sighs> okay, well, let's get to the tops. There are some good players in this series. A couple of good ones, anyways. We could get an Acuna or Trout or somebody good like that. Jones, Caleb Joseph. Michael Fulmer, oh. Seattle Mariners, trouble is there's no inserts whatsoever in these packs here, J.D. Martinez, Luis Trevino, Carlos Martinez, Edwin Diaz, and Jake Odorizzi. Back of those tops cards. Uh, Blake Parker. Look, if I don't get a good card out of this thing, I'm gonna bust you one, boy. I'm gonna bust you. No, I'll throw a ball at you first. No, I'll bust you first. No, no. Yeah. Is that cool, sir? Taiwan Walker. Irvin Santana, Brandon Lowe, Yuri Gurriel, Mookie Betts, Kyle Seeger, Chris Davis, and Nick Pavita. Well, I said there's some good ones in here, but we ain't seen nothing yet. So far. Mm. Here we go. Oh, all right. We got him, Ronald Acuna, Jr. All right, well, Ben Zobrist, Lopez, Houston Stadium, Josh Harrison, uh, how do you pronounce his name? Hamar Candelario or Jamar Hamar? He's on the Tigers. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Gregory Polanco. Richard Blyer, Austin Hedges, and Hunter Strickland. All right, so we got the Acuna out of that one. Better than nothing. Now we got the 2018 Top Series 1. It's a retail pack, of course. Which we have a chance for an insert or two in these. Alex Avila, Andrew McCutcheon, Corey Kluber, Seattle Slayers. All right. And of course, the inserts are things like Legends in the Making, Corey Seeger, and the opening day, Nolan Arenado. Rosario with Polanco's back. Carlos Asuri or something. Ian Kennedy. Austin Smoke. Alright, well, can't say that was a great either. Alright, last regular pack. Feels a little thick, but that don't mean anything. It's a Pinnacle 8 card hobby pack. 2013 Pinnacle. Yeah, it don't look good. Adrian Beltre. Uh, Henry M. Rodriguez rookie card. There's something turned around in there, but that don't mean anything. It could be just a insert. J. J. Chapman rookie.
Rob Shaw rookie. Let's save our whatever that may be until last. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm flipping it around. There we go. So we're going to bounce around a little bit. Kevin Euclid. Adam Wainwright. Yadier Molina. Rob Scahill, rookie. And oops, I think I turned it the wrong way. Let's turn it back that way. All right, here we go. No, <laughs> I can't be right either. They're both looks like the same. Okay. Hang on a minute. There's two different numbers. Oh, there's two different cards here. No wonder. <laughs> okay, that means it ain't nothing any good after all. Right, Rob Scott Scahill. Uh huh. Okay. Hang on. Sorry about that. Team 2020 Jared Parker. And I was right after all. Omar Infante autograph. Detroit baseball. Oh, ho, ho. We got the autograph. We got a hit out of our pinnacle pack. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. I'm flipping it all around trying to figure things out. And there it is. Omar Infante. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. This autograph, excuse me, this autograph is guaranteed by Panini America. Yeah. All right. So we got an extra hit. That makes it worth the whole. I told you to get some good stuff out of these guys, these cards. All right. Put that right there. Actually, I say extra hit. There was only one hit because the other one's just this graded card. Does that count as a hit? I don't know. I guess so. Let's see who this is going to be. It is a Topps Purple card. I can already tell that. Topps 20 opening day Purple Foil. Okay, let's see who it is. Max Muncy. Was that worth hang hiding like that? <laughs> I don't know. Max Muncy. Well, it could have been better, could have been worse. But most of these uh, foil cards book for five, six dollars just for the common cards, which is a far cry different from those ones they were putting on in here before from the old upper decks set and a couple other common card sets. Got that Shohei Otani one time. So, that is not a bad box at all. That was almost worth it. We got the Omar Infante autograph and the Max Muncy purple graded card out of there. A couple other inserts. Let's see who the other. What a, well, we got some more inserts someplace. Some rookies and some other stuff out of those cards. That's pretty nice. There we go. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you like and subscribe. And we hope you'll share and hit the notification bell. And come back and see us again next time. No matter what you do, just come on back for the next video. Or watch this one about 20 times. That'd be all right, too. All right, thanks, folks. We'll see you again. Goodbye.